How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is time for another update video. Update 10 has just been announced, all the features, all the new cars and all the information you need to know about update 10 is now known. So in this short video I'm going to show you every single new car we're getting in update 10 all the new features, the new fixes, absolutely everything you need to know about the updates for update 10 which will be coming out within the next few days. To save you having to watch the hour and a half long live stream, just watch this video and you'll learn everything you need to know about update 10 which is releasing this week. Now, very quickly before we get into the video I just need to quickly talk about this video's sponsor. It'll only take 30 seconds, let's do it. The sponsor for today's video is called BOTB. You can win your own dream car with BOTB, the dream car competition company. The tickets start at just 85 pence and there are over 150 cars to choose from. All you have to do is head to BOTB.com and have a go at their Spot the Balls competition and if you get the winning coordinates in the game, you win the car. BOTB also have a lifestyle competition each week as well where you could win a Visaro racing simulator worth over £10,000 for just 55p. The competitions are open to anyone in the world and you only have to be 16 to enter. Links are in the description below. So there we go, let's get straight into the update. So I'm going to start with all the new cars and vehicles we're getting in this month's festival playlist. Each four weeks we have access to like three or five cars. Only four of the cars are actually new. One new car each week. So now I'm going to tell you what they all are and one of them is very exciting. In summer, which is week one, at 50% completion, you'll get the KTM Expo GT4, which is a rare car. 80% completion, you'll get the Honda Civic 2018, which is also a rare car. And an exclusive car for a championship is the Maserati Ghibli, which is a new car. The second week, which is autumn, at 50% completion, you can get the Fiat Dino, which is a new car. At 80% completion, you'll get the Aventador SV, which is a rare car. And then exclusive cars for championships and stuff like that. You can get stuff like the Hummer H1 and the Chevy Camaro. Um, in the third week, which is winter, at 50% completion, you can get the Hoonigan Fiesta, which is a rare car. At 80% completion, you can get the Ford Mustang 1993, which is a rare vehicle. And then, then exclusive cars through championships for that week. Um, the AMC Rebel is a new car which will be available on that week through a championship. Repeating myself there. Yeah. And then the big guns, the last week, which is spring, which is about three to four weeks from now, but still, you'll get 50% completion the Rimac Concept 2, which has just around 1900 horsepower, which is absolutely crazy. They showed this car accelerating in the stream and it was absolutely bonkers. Then at 80% completion, you'll get the Bug Eye Subaru, which is a rare Subaru, believe it or not, in the game. It's not just a normal one. And then the Porsche KN is an exclusive car for that championship. So um, there's only four new cars this month, but one of them's the Rimac, which is awesome. Um, so those are all the cars that we're getting for this next w uh, month through the festival playlist. Um, so now it's time to talk about all the new features, the new fixes and all the new updates to the game. Let's get started on that. So we're getting quite a new big feature and it is called the Star Card. As you can see on screen right now, it's a brand new kind of button that you click on that's in the menu. You click on it and you get a whole world of different challenges and stuff. Let me try and explain what this star card is. The star card is basically a sort of a checklist of what you can do in the game, all to do with road racing, PR stunts, the stories that you can do, the horizon stories and the adventures, and then the stuff like the paint shops, the tunes and stuff like that. There's different categories of different things in the game that you can go into complete challenges for and get rewards for it. It's kind of like a checklist for becoming a superstar of the festival. Just an example on screen right now. I think this one is the racing. As you can see, there's kind of lots of different racing and driving related challenges. And as you can see, once you complete all of these challenges, in the bottom left hand corner, you'll get a gamertag flare as a reward. If you don't know what one of these are, if you VIP, for example, you'll know that you get a little crown next to your gamertag in the top left hand corner. This is what a flare is. So once you complete these challenges, whether it's the challenges for the PR stunts, for the tuning stuff, for the adventures or the racing, you will get given little icons to put next to your name in the top left. I think exploring is one of the other challenges as well. Similar to like the Horizon Life kind of stuff, you know what I mean. But there's like five or six different categories, you can go in them, complete challenges, I think quite a few of them. 
let's say there's a challenge for doing 5,000 miles of driving, let's say you've already done 5,000 miles of driving, it will automatically complete itself, you don't have to start from zero. Some of them you will, but not all of them, if that makes sense. So that's quite a new feature, Starkart is going to be cool to see people driving around the map with new icons next to their name in the top left. Um, Custom Adventure has had some changes and some fixes and stuff like that. Apparently, when you've been going into Custom Adventure, if you want to do a road racing series race, games have been able to be found quite quickly. But if anyone's been trying to find dirt races or cross country races, they just won't start because there's so little people that want to kind of look for these specific custom dirt and cross country races. So apparently from Series 11, which is not this month but next month, Series 11, they're going to have some changes to the cross country and dirt and possibly street racing custom adventures to where you're not going to be able to change some of the settings to kind of force you into a match to make it easier to find the game, if that makes sense. But we don't have to worry about this just yet. This is happening next update. Class-based rivals is also confirmed, sort of, for Series 11 as well. Class-based rivals is something that I've been wanting for a long time and I presume all of you have as well. So class-based rivals is coming. That's pretty cool. Something which is coming this update, war riding fixes. Lots of people are kind of been sort of complaining about the war riding. It's not working correctly all the time. It's working pretty well, but not all the time. So in this update, there's going to be a few little fixes. I think they've added um, telemetry to the game as well. So from now on, they'll actually be going to be able to monitor the war riding system and see where it's going wrong. So there's apparently going to be some big updates coming to the war riding system next update as well. In this update, we're getting the ability to fast travel and do matchmaking from the festival playlist. So you no longer have to click on what you want, put a waypoint, go back, go back on the map and then fast travel. You can just fast travel straight from the festival playlist, which is something that's annoyed me for a while. And then we also got some hints on some new cars coming in the next update. I know there wasn't really much information about this update, which is quite strange. Doesn't seem like we're getting much feature wise apart from the big feature, the star card. But in the next update, we may actually be seeing the McLaren MP4-12C returning, which will be pretty cool. There was also a QA and a at the end of the live stream as well, which I've just finished watching. And I didn't really ask much that's worth mentioning. Um, someone did mention the duplicate wheel spins that you get, or sorry, the duplicate cars that you get in wheel spins. And apparently they are indeed kind of working on a system to where if you get a duplicate car in a wheel spin, you will have the choice to sell it for amount of credits instead of taking the duplicate. Um, since this is a highly requested feature so that may be coming in the near future or the long future but at least we know it's a thing that they're they're working on selling duplicate cars from wheel spins but um, other than that really there's not many new features in this this month's update we've got the um, the star card feature which is quite a big thing it seems like a lot of work had gone into that so fair play and um, the new cars coming like the Rimac concept 2 that's going to be exciting and some custom adventure and war riding fixes as long with that um, other than that, there's maybe some little fixes which I've not bothered mentioning, but that's basically everything we need to know about this update. I think there's a high chance that next week we're going to hear about Expansion 2 at E3, so there's going to be a video on that, obviously, as soon as it's out. And it seems like next month it's going to be a whopper as well. We got just as much information about Series 11 update as we did Series 10 today. So, yeah, next month's update is going to be interesting. Next week's going to be interesting. And this update is going to be interesting. Pretty cool. Let me know what you think of all the new features that's going to be coming in this update in a couple of days. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.